Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Let me take a look at live pictures from Smithfield, and obviously it's not a major snowstorm, but a slushy coating of snow on the ground. And you can see that you know, it, it sticks in certain areas like grassy surfaces and shrubs and soil and car tops, say you know, your patio deck, it'll stick. But the pavement, the asphalt is still relatively warm, so a lot of it actually melting. And that does concern me because with wet pavement uh, overnight tonight and the temperatures are falling below freezing, uh, some untreated surfaces, whether it's a parking lot or a side street, there'll be some black ice, so be aware of that. West Gloucester has three quarters of an inch of snow. Millville and Franklin, Mass., which are just over the Rhode Island border, the northern Rhode Island border, half inch to about an inch of slush as we take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Still seeing the bands of precipitation from roughly Providence and Warwick. In West Warwick, north and west, it's been either sleet or wet snow. In parts of southeastern Massachusetts, it's been primarily rain with a little bit of sleet mixing in. This is a fast-moving system, and it's another reason why we're not anticipating, obviously, a whole bunch of snow. I'm actually more concerned about this potential system coming up for Saturday. More on that in a second. Temperatures dropping through the mid-30s under cloudy skies, only 36 in Providence, 34 Smithfield, mid-30s along the south shore. But we will fall below freezing overnight into early tomorrow morning. So a fast moving system. You can see the precipitation racing off to the north and east, already drier air back through upstate New York with even some clearing and that'll be moving in very late tonight. So just in time for tomorrow, We'll get back into some sunshine, though it will be a chilly day. And speaking of chilly, watch how the temperatures drop overnight near or just below freezing by, say, six, seven o'clock in the morning. And then uh, by tomorrow evening, temperatures falling back into uh, the 40s. All right. As far as accumulations, and uh, you know, feel pretty good about what we have up here. We've had this really last couple of days. This bright area of white, a coating to one inch from roughly Route 295 north and west. This little darker gray strip, essentially along the Route 95 corridor, just a slushy coating in mostly grassy surfaces and car tops. You can get up into the hills of Worcester and southern New Hampshire, up to three inches north of the Amass Pike. In fact, Franklin Mass. Rob sending us this picture about an hour ago. This is just over the Rhode northern Rhode Island border, uh, indicating about uh, a half inch of wet snow. Getting even closer here, and you can see uh, the accumulations primarily inland and away from the coastline. And here's that bright white area, some of the higher elevations of extreme western Kent County, uh, uh, 295 north and west, that slushy coating to up to an inch. And then it tapers off to just a little bit of a coating, maybe enough to kind of write your name on the windshield of your car, and that's about it. So this will be pulling away overnight but again you know with the mixture ending and the temperature dropping look at hour by hour five six o'clock in the morning it's down close to freezing so untreated wet pavement it means icy spots and again it just could be a sidewalk a side street so be aware of that sunshine tomorrow morning any kind of ice and iciness should go away by say nine ten o'clock temperature goes above freezing though a chilly day breezy and dry with some sunshine high temperatures mid and upper 40s so uh, on the cool side all right seven day outlook and we've been hinting at this now for the last several days and this is going to be a close call and really something that's worth watching and it certainly would be more significant than what came through tonight potential for some perhaps both heavy rain and snow 45 degrees the exact track of this ocean storm will make a huge difference so you, you certainly want to stay tuned for the forecast sunday still looks like a decent day partly sunny chilly at 49 and and still good news for the trick-or-treaters on halloween dry sunshine on monday and then clear skies on monday night high temperature at uh, 54 so watch for some black ice overnight early tomorrow morning better day tomorrow and then one that's really worth watching here would be saturday afternoon saturday night Alrighty, thanks